Hey, how's it going? I'd like to discuss changing grommets out on your Fender Rhodes and Rhodes pianos today. It's one of the most important jobs you can do on any piano. Tuning and voicing, incredibly important. Proper strike line, incredibly important. Escapement, incredibly important. Level key bed, incredibly important. But at the heart of the tone generation of your piano is a rubber grommet, as you can see here, that is the isolating grommet between the tone bar, tine, the asymmetrical tuning fork, and the harp itself anchored by a screw. Its job is to allow vibrations to occur without any impedance. And what happens when the grommet hardens over time, shrinks, it loses its isolation properties or its barrier between the screw and the harp. And what happens at that point is that the hard grommet tends to choke out the vibration of the tine. It creates this secondary issue which is called the tone bar sway. When the grommet shrinks, there opens up a gap between the grommet and the, and the tone bar itself. And this creates this sway left and right of the tone bar. The problem with that is that when you go to voice your piano, you have this sway now that you can't control. You can voice it into place but a couple strikes of the hammer or if the piano is moved, now the tone bar is sliding to the left or to the right. And that creates displacement from the tine being directly in front of the pickup where you once voiced it. So this is a serious issue. So between the, the voicing issue and the muting of the vibration of the tine due to a hardened grommet, without a doubt, it's something that you must do. You must change your grommets. If your piano's never had its grommet changed, but you think it sounds fine, well, replace your grommets and you'll see how much better it, it's going to perform. So with that said, I'd like to show you today how to replace your grommets in the most practical way to do it, especially if you're not restoring the entire harp, meaning you're not taking it apart, you're not redoing the metal, you're not redoing the foil tape, or you're not polishing the pickups or so forth, or cleaning the tines. If you're just doing a straight grommet job, this is the way I'm gonna show you is the way to probably go about it. So let's get into it. We're gonna start off with preparing our screws and washers for the job. Being that installing the washers on the screw is an easy step, but it's a little tedious when you're doing 150 pieces at one time. It's good to get them all out of the way first. And you'll notice on the washer, there is a shiny side, a more finished side, and a unfinished side. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the finished side is up, facing the outside of the piano. So here we are, we're ready to take the next step. As you look at the piano here, you'll notice that there's two harp brackets on here. So we're gonna use those to divide the harp into three sections. It's easy to take this in steps, so you're not overwhelmed or you're not spending too much time removing individual tone bars at once. So let's start with the first section. We'll call the base section the first section, anything left of this bracket. So what we'll do is we're gonna start with the front row closest to the pickup side. Now, depending on your piano, you're gonna find a varying degree of how the grommets have lasted over the years. Some of them might pull right out. Others will be hard, crusty, and just disintegrating literally within your fingertips. So that's gonna determine how you approach pulling the grommets out. Let's continue. And again, the reason I'm doing it this way is I still have the back screw in the tone bar anchoring it so it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, it's a lot quicker to, than doing each individual tone bar one at a time. Okay, so there we are. We have the basic original screws taken out. Now, what we're finding here is that these are kind of hard. They're not quite disintegrating, but they are hard and they're not coming out. So you'll want to use something like a tuning tool or an awl, 
some kind of tool that can grab them and pull them out. Sometimes the original screw that you used uh, can just kind of pull them out like this. If not, you'll use a tool. In any case, you'll want to get it all out. And if you find that the grommet is disintegrated and falling into the spring down below, then you will want to take the entire tone bar out, clean that all out and make sure it's not impeding the spring. So let's just continue pulling these out. Now you can, you can't feel this, but I can feel it. They're pretty much hard as a rock. And one of the reasons why originally when we were preparing our screws and washers that I didn't install the grommet onto the, the screw already was the fact that I want to install the, the grommet into the tone bar and make sure that it's centered inside the spring underneath. If I had put them on prior, when I went to, when I go to screw them down, they might become askew and get tangled up into the spring below. And that's not what we want. We want to make sure that they're not impeding the spring at all. That spring is in the way a little bit. So if you see the spring in the way a little bit, you can use your tool to move it over. All right, so now we're uh, heading into replacing the screws and washers. And what I'm doing is I'm just seating them first before I start screwing them in. All right, so now we're gonna take our drill and we're gonna put them back in. And just to get some sort of visual voicing before we move on to the back screw. Good enough for now. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing for the back screw. Now that we have the front screw anchored in, it's gonna hold the tone bar. Again, we're going to remove them, see if you can get the grommet out. <clears throat> if not, we have tools that will get that out. So at this point, we're going to set this, the uh, back screw in and we're going to want to get some kind of visual escapement set. So a quick way to do it is to take a time block and use that as a, a reference point. Okay, so that's a very rough visual and all new grommets and it took pretty much no time to do. One of the main reasons why you're gonna replace your screws and grommets is that some of the screws over time are incredibly bent and they cause voicing nightmares. And I'm just gonna show you a little example inside this piano. Now, I am just about to replace these screws and I just found one that's original in here that's just really a nightmare. So let's look into it. So here we are on number 24. This screw is absolutely bent. It's gonna cause a voicing nightmare. As you can see in the front, if I go to voice this, you can see what it does to the front of the tine in regards to relationship with the pickup. And this is not something that's rare. You find this in a lot of pianos and that's why it's ultra important to replace the screws and the grommets together, never separately. That's just not the way to go. 